Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Connor Terrio, and I'm a BIM technical consultant here at Gray Tech. Uh, in today's Revit tip, we are, I'm going to be walking you through how to create a type catalog for your Revit families. In this example, we're going to be going through just a generic fixed window, not so much focused on the Revit family itself. It's pretty much already created, but what we're going to be doing is using a type catalog um, to create the different types of that family. So I will walk you through that a little bit more in detail um, in the coming video. Um, we're going to be breaking down what information needs to come out of Revit into Excel, and then how do we get that Excel file um, back into Revit, essentially, uh, is the workflow we're going to be reviewing. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into Revit. OK, here we are in Revit. Uh, as you can see, we've got our generic fixed window open. Um, the parameters that we're going to use here are just going to be the length, um, or the sorry, the height and the width. Um, that's what we'll adjust in our type catalog, and then what we'll do is we'll load that into a project. So the first thing that we have to do is export a list of our parameters. So our, our type catalog is going to be a TXT file. So we're going to come here to File, Export, go to Family Types. Save this in the same location. It's very important for type catalog that the um, family is located in the same location. It also needs to be the exact same name. So we're just going to call this generic fixed window TXT and save that. That's step one. Step two is going to be to open this file um, into Excel. Um, this will be the first menu that you see pop up from Excel. We're going to select delimited here and go next. Check off call, comma. Okay, the preview down below should look like this. We're going to go next. And then we can leave general, set, and click finish. Now, as you can see, we've got one type. We're going to expand these columns here. We've got one type, and there's our parameters, our, our height and our width. So we can go through here, copy down as many types as you need. Begin to go through and fill out all of this information. In step three, we have to save this file out. So once you've got all of your uh, different types created, you've adjusted all the parameter values, um, we need to save this out. So we're gonna go here to File, Save As. And we're going to save this as generic fixed window. Remember, it's got to be the exact same name as the family. We're not going to save this as a TXT. We're actually going to come down and save this as a CSV MS DOS. And we're going to save that. Step four. Once you've saved it, go back to your um, folder, your Windows folder, type catalog here. Um, Delete the original TXT file. Remember, we saved it. We made adjustments and we saved it as a CSV. So we're going to delete the original, come back up to the CSV, rename that to .txt. It's going to give you this warning. Uh, changing file name might be unusable. Okay, that's fine. Press yes. Um, make sure you close it. From Excel first uh, and then make that change. Okay, step four, we're going to load this into a project. Okay, step four, we're going to load this into a project. Uh, we're back in Revit. Here's a project I've got open for type catalog, and we can see we have no windows. Um, in our project browser, we can see we have no windows in this project. So instead of just going up here to load into project, I'm actually going to close this. And then I'm going to come here to load family, navigate to where I saved that file. Just got it on my desktop, type catalog, and link in that generic fixed window. It's right in that link in. We're going to open it. Uh, and once you do so, if you did that process correctly, this is what you should see. Okay, so you should see a specified types menu, all of the listed types that you created in the type catalog, and then all the correct values. Press OK through that. Uh, actually, 
we're going to see here we don't have a full list. It just linked in the original. So we're going to reload that. Select all the types that you want in. Okay, this allows you to only bring in, if you need a 3x6, just bring in a 3x6. So this is another um, great feature to kind of limit the sizes of your files. Um, it allows you to just select the families that you need, not all the different types of, of, a, pro, of, a, of a lighting fixture. It could be like any family that you're using this, this um, type catalog for. In this case, we've got a window. Okay, so if I select this now that's in a project, come up here to my type selector, I'm only going to see the types that I have, that I loaded in, that I selected. If you need a different type, come back down to your project browser, right click again, go reload. Load that back in and select a different type you need. Okay, if you guys have any questions or would you, you would like to reach out to me, um, feel free to contact my LinkedIn there. Um, other than that, take care, good luck, and I'll see you in the next Revit tip.